These are Hopagnathos Venator ants. These giant creatures are not just insects, but real ant mutants. These two centimeter long monsters have powerful claws, dangerous poison, and a sting. Their bite can be compared to a wasp sting. These are real monsters in the insect world. Oh, just look at this guy. This species really seems to have appeared from another planet. These are not just simple ants, but dangerous creatures. And you need to be careful if you keep them at home. It's incredible. But these ants have clear vision with which they can see you without any problems. And in hunting, these insects are real experts. They demonstrate amazing skills in finding food. I was also shocked to learn that these ants can live for several years, which is unusual for most ants, where workers usually have a shorter life cycle. And these mutants can live longer than you would move from your parents. But it's time to give these ants a new wonderful home for their life and for their active development of the colony. This box contains a real incredible nest for these guys. Here they will be able to actively grow their larvae, hunt for various insects, and also take care of their queen. I carefully remove the protective film from the glass that will later be installed on the anthill. Look how beautiful it looks. There are also special red plastic panels here to install them on top of the anthill capsules. Then you can calmly watch the ants, and there will be no great stress for them. But for these insects, you need to make coconut bedding inside the nest since these ants live in special conditions and you need to control good humidity in the nest and also maintain clean conditions where they live so that mites, and parasites and mold do not get in since this can destroy the colony also the coconut shavings that will be in the nest are needed by future ant larvae that will pupate in a cocoon after some time I fixed all the details together poured some sand into the arena to make even more natural conditions for the ants and the ant farm is almost ready now the ants are ready to move to a new chic house. I connect the test tube, and the ants immediately understood that a great adventure awaits them. The first individuals began to explore new territories. They passed information to each other and understood that it was possible to move. After a while, I saw all the ants in the nest. Oh, it seems they like this place. It's very comfortable here, and there's also a lot of space for the future development of a large colony. And here are their eggs. Look how many of them there are. But still, there is one minus in these ants. Their eggs develop very slowly. You have to wait almost two months for a full-fledged ant to develop. Oh my god, who is this? It's an isopod! The ant immediately started hunting, but something went wrong. This insect has a thick shell, and the ant can't bite or sting the isopod with its stinger. Then I decided to give the ants a normal, but still fresh breakfast. Oh, what a cute ant! He waves his belly like a little dog. The ants immediately appreciated my gift. Look how this ant uses its stinger to neutralize its prey. One ant can easily catch a living creature that is two or three times larger than it. These ants are truly incredible. Now they have dragged the cockroach into the nest. They are starting to actively feed their eggs on the queen. There must be access to fresh water for these ants in the arena, since they like to drink plain fresh water often. When the ants drank some water, a small fly flew around my room and I decided to get to know the ants. But for some reason, they didn't come out to meet it. Maybe they weren't hungry anymore. So the fly flew away. But in the wild, ants meet not only flies or beetles, but also giant centipedes. Look at its blue legs. The centipede immediately decided to dig a nest for itself and live with the ants. But later, an ant climbed out of the nest and wanted to get to know the centipede. The ants realized that the prey was too big, and they didn't waste their strength on it. But later, the scolopendra decided to climb inside the nest, but the ants actively defended their colony. Two thousand years later. It's been almost 30 days since the ants settled in the new nest. Almost every day, the ants ate a lot of protein. But unfortunately, for some reason, the eggs take a very long time to develop. Look how strong these ants are. One ant dragged this giant cockroach into the nest, and now they will have dinner. But colonies of this species are small, usually from several dozen to several hundred individuals in the colony. The social structure has a peculiarity. In case of loss of the queen, worker ants can turn into so-called gamergate, individuals capable of reproduction. That is, a worker can lay eggs. This makes the colony more stable in the long term. But in general, these ants are simply fantastic. I really like them. And the coolest thing is that they can see you well with their own eyes. You need to wait a little longer. New generations of ants will emerge from these eggs in the nest, and the colony will become almost twice as large. And watching this colony will become even more interesting. And now I will just put them in a dark place, and I will also regularly feed them with a lot of protein. 
and wait until the new workers hatch. Thank you for watching, see you soon.